Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to render footage with an alpha channel. This is very, very useful in a lot of ways. If you're creating lower thirds, or you've got some footage and you don't want the background to be rendered in, and this happens all the time, guys, we can do this real quick. I'll just show you the way, so let's just get going. After Effects loader up, and then you want to create a new project, file new project, which I've already done. And the next step is you want to create a new composition. I'm going to go ahead and just create a new comp. And I'm just going to create a default comp. I'm going to call it alpha. But you don't have to change that. This is just for demonstration. These don't matter too much. The presets with height. The background color, I'm just going to leave it at default black 10 seconds. Bang, we have a 10 second video. It's pure black. But we are going to render some stuff out with the alpha channel. So the next step in order to prove this and show you how it's done, I'm just going to quickly write some text. And it's just going to say, I don't know, alpha dog, whatever. It doesn't matter what it says. It doesn't matter what the font is. Uh, this is just to show you how it works. I'm going to bring it off screen here. I am going to go ahead and hit P for position. I am going to vary the stopwatch or get this thing going. And then at one, zero seconds. And then let's just say at like five seconds, it goes all the way through the video. Whatever. Boom. It goes right through and out the other side. All right. Looks good. Next step, and this is the important step, is we want to click File, Export. Guys, I apologize if I'm going through this quickly. The real point that we want to show is that we get the alpha channel. All of this typography and all this other crap doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you how the, to do the export settings. This is what matters. Go to Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. Now, I've already gone ahead and done that one, so I'm going to delete it. The most important thing here is your export settings. I'll go to the standard settings. Most people are going to have it under H.264. That's generally the, the most common uh, standard codec. And this works 99 out of 100 times. But the time that you want the alpha channel, this codec doesn't work. It doesn't work very well. Um, what you want to do is go from H.264, drop down to QuickTime. Not only that, when you click QuickTime, I <laughs> say that fast, uh, go to the preset here, and you want to go to GoPro Cineform RGB 12-bit with alpha or alpha at maximum uh, bit depth. It defaults usually to NTSC DV. We do not want that. We need to have with alpha. The alpha is, it goes red, green, blue, alpha. Alpha is the fourth channel, and it's the most important one. I'm going to call this alpha.mov, <laughs> or MOV, and everything's correct here, and I'm just going to quickly render it. Let's just do that. You'll see it's going there, alpha dog, and now I'm going to put it on top of some footage in Premiere Pro to show you that it worked. I don't want you to just take my word for it. I'm going to prove it. So I'm going to take that footage that we just nicely made, and we'll switch over to Premiere Pro, load that bad boy up, and I'm going to drag and drop that into the project there. Now. I've got some default footage set up here because this way we can show you that the alpha um, channel didn't, it, it was rendered correctly. I'm going to drop alpha.mov on top of it and watch when I hit spacebar, the black background did not come with it. Well, it there it does, but that's not the point. Uh, it did not come with it. The alpha channel was rendered correctly. Again, guys, Adobe After Effects file export. Add to Adobe Meteor Render Queue. Make sure you're on GoPro Cineform RGB 12-bit with Alpha. That's the one that works best for me. If you do that, you'll have Alpha every single time, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be back more with some more After Effects, Premiere Pro, and various other tutorials. Thanks for watching.